Hello, my name is Nate Lux, the CEO and president of the PAC Center and a pastor at State Street Community Church in downtown LaPorte. I want to invite you to help us at the PAC Center to keep LaPorte County well-fed and well-loved on Giving Tuesday, this November 29th. On Giving Tuesday, we invite individuals and businesses and other organizations to donate to the PAC Center by visiting thepaccenter.com. And with your generous donations, we will be able to continue our engagement with food insecurity and loneliness in LaPorte County. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the PAC Center, we were started in 2015 when a generous donor gifted our organization a bar or nightclub to house the food pantry and community meal programs we had already started at State Street Community Church in 2010. So we named this center the PAX Center, P-A-X. PAX is Latin for peace. Many of our neighbors regularly suffer from poverty, hunger, and loneliness. So we wanted to ensure that even just for a minute or hour, as people came to our center, they'd experience a sense of peace from their trauma and problems. They'd be greeted with helpful and nice people and we'd be a source of hope for the common good. Since then, the PAC Center has helped thousands of residents in our area with our food pantries, community meals, gardens, and green space. So whether someone is visiting us from the city of LaPorte, where we're located, or from a neighboring town or city like New Buffalo, New Carlisle, Michigan City, Valparaiso, it is our obligation and our privilege to help in whatever ways we can. I'm often asked, what else do we do besides our weekly food pantries and community meals? And the answer is quite a bit. In combating food insecurity, one of the issues that many organizations like ours face around the country is that the cheapest foods to purchase often are some of the least healthy for people to eat. As I explained to people, the first step in combating food insecurity is getting calories in people. It, it, it helps people eat, it helps them stay alive. But the next step is providing access to better and healthier foods. And that's why our gardens and green space come in. In 2016, with the help of the city of LaPorte and other local businesses and nonprofit partners, we built a garden on a former dilapidated parking lot on the corner of Jackson and Jefferson in downtown LaPorte. You may have seen it, lots of flowers, it's a beautiful space. And years later, the Jackson Street Community Garden offers free community garden plots for residents, a UPIC area, fruits like grapes, pears, raspberries, and strawberries, and a share table where local gardeners and growers can share out of their abundance with community members that need it. Then in 2020, in partnership with the City of LaPorte, the Healthcare Foundation of LaPorte, and many other local businesses and organizations, we started our most ambitious project, the Brighton Street Green Space. Now the Brighton Street Green Space is located on a former dairy factory that had been caving in and had become the center of crime in that neighborhood. What was once a very important place and, and business in Laporte had really dilapidated to being a blight. Now, a few years later and a lot of hard work and dedication and lots of investment, it's now a thriving green space with more community garden space, a kid's garden area where area elementary kids get to learn about nutrition and food systems while also tending their own garden boxes all summer and a UPIC garden area and share table as well. Our green space also has an education resource center for education and community meetings. And starting next spring, it will also house a chapter of the Boys and Girls Club of LaPorte County, where dozens of neighboring kids will get the chance to attend after school programs, helping with academic support, healthy lifestyles, character and citizenship classes. Now, as you can tell, the mission is to keep LaPorte County well-fed and well-loved. And to do this in tangible and practical ways, we reach out to you. But we only exist with the support and partnership of generous individuals and businesses that also believe that no one, no one in LaPorte County should go hungry. So again, on Tuesday, November 29th, if you also want to keep LaPorte County well-fed and well-loved, I invite you to donate to the PAC Center at thepaccenter.com and help us raise $50,000 in one day to combat hunger, poverty, and loneliness in our community. Together we can do it.